Hello, we are at Carrot Port, and this is a fall island, and I am ready. So this island is by Neo Horizons on Instagram, and that is N-E-O Horizons. And I'm so excited, oh my goodness. So this is kind of a sailor town mixed in with fall. So a lot of boats, so this is pretty interesting, very unique theme. So I'm ready to get started. Let's go ahead and go to the front. All right, so we'll go ahead and check the map. So this is Carreport, and these are the villagers. Kid Cat. Kid Cat, sounds like Kit Cat. All right, so this is the entrance, and I love how it's very overgrown. There's a bunch of nature and I like these little nautical pieces. There's like a little steering wheel and I really like that pirate map. So this is going to be very interesting. I've never seen a full nautical island and it's also fall. So let's get into it. It is a good entrance so far. Let's see. There's bottles. And I really like that bridge I want to open this gift should I just open it let's see let's see what's inside oh my gosh clay so this is Hazel's house and a bunch of wheat fields which I love wheat fields and this is a huge structure. I really like how big this is. It's very wide. And this is a villager's house. So it really looks like a real building. And I like how they put the villager's house in it to make it bigger. So I really love these boats. And very natural beaches. That's what I would have done if I was doing like a fishing island cause yeah, they just usually have natural beaches. And these are really cute houses. I really like how they look like shacks. And honestly, this is a very good idea just by adding this little storefront on the side. It makes the house look, it gives it so much more character and that's really a good idea. That looks so nice. And it extends the house a little bit to make it a little bit bigger. So I really like that idea. I haven't seen that before. Um. So just so you guys know, the schedule for this week is gonna be a lot of island tours because I just miss doing them. So this whole week is gonna be island tour after island tour, like just a bunch. So if you guys need some inspiration or you just love looking at other people's islands for ideas and just for fun, then you guys can stay tuned for a whole week of island tours. I really like this diagonal path. I would say this island is pretty rustic. And this is another villager's house. It is so nice how it's just, I like this theme. It's very interesting and every single section of the island looks very rustic and nautical. And this villager has a little pond to fish in. And I love, I absolutely love how they used a bunch of wheat fields all over. And let's just pass the creator. Wow, so they used a bunch of storefronts 
to make a big building. And this is a house we will go ahead and go inside. Ooh, really nice. I always like using the shipwreck floors because they look super rustic. And this is a little shack. Yeah. So a little house and then this is a sitting area. And then this is like the kitchen. Or this might be a restaurant. It might be a little restaurant. But it is really good. The whole town feels kind of like a old fishing town. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, so I think that is like a little home run small business of like a fishing shack, like a fish shack, little restaurant. And in this section, they used only the dirt path, which is pretty cool. And I love how they decorated the outsides of the villager's house. Let's go ahead and see if the interiors are done. Okay, no, but that's okay. Because that must be hard to do. You have to do every single villager's house's interior. I would probably only do a couple. Because that would take a long time. But I really like how they decorated the exterior. And this is Nook's Cranny. Very crowded. And yeah, this island looks super lived in and natural. I feel like this is Red's island. This is actually where he lives. This is everything that Red, Red loves. Like he loves going on his boat and he likes rustic stuff. This would definitely be where he lives. And you know what? To, doing this island in fall is actually perfect because the colors go together. Because the trees look more old and rustic and it goes with it. And there's this cobblestone QR code. And we will go ahead and check this house. Ooh, I love this. This is really cool. Wow, so this is a boat repair shop. I don't know what's electrocuting the air. What is that? I guess that's the boat. What in the world? I have never seen that before. This is such a creative room. It's like a boat repair shop. This is really cool. And I guess the boats are electrocuting. I've never seen that, but that's pretty cool. I like the floors. It looks so dingy in here. So it's a rustic co coastal town. And this is Able Sisters. I really like how they extend the buildings to make them bigger. It makes the island look more full. I wonder where they got the inspiration to do this theme because it is a very unique theme. So I wonder if they live near a coastal area or they like rustic stuff. And I wonder how much boats cost in the game. I wonder if they're expensive because they used a lot of them. So I would say, like my estimate would probably be that they're 50,000 bells or maybe even 120. The beaches are very natural. And this is the campsite. So a beach campsite. And I really like how simple this is and it goes with the theme. And I like how it's a mini little campsite. And this is the dock. I love this stool. And leading to this villager's house. And the beaches are actually decorated like really nicely. It looks super realistic.
and a lot of fishing spots. And we got this structure right here. And a villager's house. And a really nice brick structure. That looks super nice. Ooh, really, really pretty structure. And I feel like this is the market where there's a bunch of shops. Wow. Double bridge. So if you guys enjoyed, then give it a like and subscribe for more videos. And remember that I'm doing a bunch of island tours this week. So definitely subscribe if that interests you. And thank you for hanging out with me. And I will see you guys in another video. Goodbye. See you later. Bye.